the 2005 Breeders' Crown Final for $555,000. Race 10. Breeders' Crown Final. Here they come. Throb, Gold Dust Beach on the outside. Gryffindor trying to leave. Village Jolt with some speed on the far outside into the first turn. Village Jolt and uh, Pierce uh, winds him up early. Three watt and swoops down for post 10. Will take over. Village Jolt, last year's two year old champion, takes over here. Gryffindor back into the second spot here after a quick start. Gold Dust Beach is third by two. American Ideal got away well in fourth. Gap of two lengths to the favorite Rock and Roll Hanover fifth past the quarter. Leading example is sixth, followed by Cam's Fool racing seventh. On the inside is up front Charlie eighth. Then it's Roddy's Bags again in IZ. 26 and two. A torrid opening fraction there for Village Jolt. And Pierce looks to settle things down. Gryffindor second now. Here comes American Ideal. Mark McDonald has him moving on a backside brush. Was fourth was third now second and challenging going for the lead here american ideal hooks up there with village jolt past the half mile so it's gryffindor in the third position half 54 and one good clip here gold dust beach is fourth rock and roll still fifth on the cones onto the far turn leading example is sixth with cams full seventh on the outside roddy's bags again is eighth and then at the back of the pack it's up front charlie and iz american ideal took over now campbell guns gold dust beach up on the outside to challenge him American Ideal for the lead. And Rock and Roll Hanover works out a second over there. And he is lurking with live cover now. Fourth on the outside. Locked in on the rail is Village Jolt. And looking to fan to the outside is leading example for a rally. One, 21 and four. They're into the stretch of the Breeders' Crown. And Rock and Roll rolls off cover. It's Rock and Roll Hanover. Leading example on the outside is trying to rally. Goldust Beach is all out. Gryffindor between horses. But they're all giving diddle chase. Rock and Roll will never die rock and roll Hanover is a smash hit in the breeders crown over leading example gryffindor and gold dust beach 149 and four Roll, rolls off cover. It's Rock and Roll Hanover. Leading example on the outside is trying to rally. Goldust Beach is all out. Gryffindor between horses, but they're all giving diddle chase. Rock and Roll will never die. Rock and Roll Hanover is a smash hit in the Breeders' Crown over leading example Gryffindor and Goldust Beach. 149 and 4. And he pays 280, 240, 220. It's official. The one leading example, five dollars and four twenty, and eight Gryffindor pays three twenty to show. The exacta two one sixteen dollars two one eight trifecta seventy seven ten. The two one eight five superfecta seven hundred eleven dollars forty cents. The pick three of five seven two one hundred thirty four sixty. The uh, tenth breeders crown for trainer Brett Pelling, the winningest trainer in the past decade of this series and for Brian Sears his third breeders crown tonight fourth of the season a record tying fourth he had four last year Brian Sears surpasses the single season's earnings mark for a harness driver the all-time mark of 15 million dollars Mr. Chris Mackerlin our vice president of racing operations in the winner's circle along with Jim Simpson Hamiltonian Society director and Hanover Shoe Farms, Eric Sharbaugh, Executive Vice President of the United States Trotting Association. Lothlorian Equestrian Center, Phyllis Audrey Campbell, of Mississauga, Ontario, Bill Peretti of Peretti Racing Stable, Cream Ridge, New Jersey. He was a 190,000 at the Standard Red Horse Sale at Harrisburg, Pennsylvania in 2003. And congratulations and a fond farewell to trainer Brett Pelling, who goes out on a winning note here at the Big M. Best of luck. Down under, mate. Also, congratulations to the caretaker of Rock and Roll Hanover, Sarah Scott.
you like Top Shelf? We're here in the winner's circle. The richest trainer of all time, single season record holding driver, and the richest horse of 2005, Rock and Roll Hanover. Brian Sears, tell us a little bit about the race. You had a lot of early action here. You laid off the action. Yeah, um, just kind of waited for him to come back to me a little bit and worked out, uh, you know, I ended up second over the head of the lane and I couldn't ask for a better trip. And at that point right there, you had the American Ideal was getting a lot of pressure here. Are you confident in the last eighth of a mile? Yeah, I knew leading example was getting a trip on my back. He was a horse to be concerned about, but, um, you know, the horse uh, showed his class and raced, raced super. You've been with Rock and Roll all year. Is he better right now than ever before? He's super right now. There's no question about that. And the earnings record, Brian, what, what's going through your mind right now? Um, it's just something that I'll look back on, and it's, um, it's, it's, it's a great accomplishment. But, uh, you know, I, I really want to thank Brett for the opportunity. I've gotten to drive some great horses for him the last couple of years, and uh, he will certainly be missed. Okay, Brian Sears, congratulations. Mr. Pelling, mm. fantastic effort. Another Breeders' Crown, Rock and Roll Hannah. What else can we say? He was fantastic. No, he, he's just a, a, an awesome horse, and he's, um, you know, he, he's been a dream. I mean, for uh, I mean, this is my last crown, and uh, to stand here, and he was the one, and uh, it's, it's just a memory you'll you'll, know, you'll cherish forever. You, you raced his sire, Western Ideal. You won ten Breeders' Crowns. Now, uh, where does this Rock and Roll Hanover Breeders' Crown rank? Well, you know, uh, going in with a greater horse as him and, and to actually pull it off, I mean, Western Ideal, he was huge, and uh, I love that horse dearly, and uh, this horse here, I mean, he has all the same traits as Western Ideal, and, and like I've said many times, he's probably just got a little more leg speed, and uh, I just couldn't be more proud of him. This was the last race for Rock and Roll Hanover ever. Is this the last crown ever for Brett Pelling? I, I have to say so. I mean, this has uh, been a great career. I really uh, thank the Meadowlands for everything they've done for me. And, um, you know, to have your swans on at, uh, at my home track, um, it's just a great thrill. I know it's a tough night for you. Uh, the fondest memory you have in harness racing, is there something that comes to mind for you? Well, uh, you know, it, it's been a, a great career. And, um, you know, there's been a lot of ups. Uh, I, I always cherish um, the first time you win in Delaware. I mean, if anyone ever gets to experience that, I mean, that's, uh, that's a lifetime thing. But, you know, the Meadowlands pace uh, here at our home track, I mean, uh, that's, I, I've counted that as their signature event. And um, there's been a lot of thrills. I mean, I, I, I really find it trouble to identify any specific thing. Okay, Harness Racing's all-time number one leading money-winning trainer. Brett Pelling goes out with a bang, and Rock and Roll Hanover has taken the final Breeders' Crown event. Three-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings.